Hello there. Can you believe it's been a whopping 63 years since the iconic TV series My Three Sons 1960 graced our screens? Our childhoods were defined by the thrilling mysteries of My Three Sons. Imagine the fun of gathering your family on the sofa to revisit this classic, witnessing the cast then and now, reminiscing about those we've lost, and marveling at the transformation of those who still look fabulous. For all the answers, join us in our video journey. Okay, let's explore together. William Frawley graced the screen as the character Michael Francis Bub O'Casey, casting his vibrant presence at the age of 73 during the 1960 filming. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of his passing on March 3, 1966, due to a heart attack at the age of 79 in Hollywood, Los Angeles, California. They're alone. Now what I'm worried about is who's going to take care of you and the boys while I'm gone. Oh, no, don't worry, but we'll, we'll find somebody. No, no problem. Come on. I just wish it didn't cost us anything to install. Yeah, well, what does it do when you're out of hot water? Play pinochle? It heats its own water. William Demarest graced the screen as the character Uncle Charlie O'Casey, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 73 during the 1965 filming. It is with heavy hearts that we recall December 28, 1983, when he sadly departed at the age of 91 in Palm Springs, California, following a battle with pneumonia and prostate cancer. When woman cook for man, in our law, it is a sign they are betrothed. You mean if I... Yeah, but anyhow, you know, in World War I, God. I was sharpening my bayonet, you know, the, and at the same time, I'm smoking a cigarette. And then... Stanley Livingston graced the screen as the character Chip Douglas, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 10 during the 1960 filming. Fast forward to the present, and as a vibrant 73-year-old, he's relishing life to the fullest, basking in the beauty of Los Angeles, California. But he'll never swallow it. Why don't you just be a brave little man and tell him the truth? Yeah, I guess. I guess, too. Like the kid up the street. I should probably tell you, it almost wasn't going to be My Three Sons. The show's creator, Don Federson, uh, had a show in mind to be called My Three in 1960, Tim Considine graced the screen with his portrayal of the character Mike Douglas, a role he brought to life at the age of 20. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on March 3, 2022, he left us due to natural causes at the age of 81 in Mar Vista, California. Oh? Uh, no, they're not, but uh, I'm running the house. Good for you! <laughs> Why I'm here is... Mice, as I called them. Uh, uh, we learned. I mean, at first we were just doing a movie. We didn't even know that they were breaking it up into little parts, or I didn't anyway. In 1960, Fred McMurray graced the screen with his portrayal of the character, Steve Douglas, a role he brought to life at the age of 52. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on November 5, 1991, he left us due to pneumonia, pulmonary edema, sepsis syndrome, urinary tract infection, chronic lymphocytic leukemia at the age of 83 in Santa Monica, California. Well, he's really not dirty. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. He's uh, just a liar and a bum, huh? Well, you know what he means, Dad. He's a, he's a tramp. Isn't that something? It gives children an easy way to calculate math that's extremely fast and accurate. And they have fun doing it. Since it's based on our traditional math system, it doesn't confuse them. In 1964, Tina Cole graced the screen with her portrayal of the character, Katie Miller Douglas, a role she brought to life at the age of 21. And now, at a youthful 80 years old, she now resides in Hollywood, California, where she's crafting a vibrant and healthful life infused with numerous passions. Children, they already know how to get along with other kids. What other kids? Each other, me, Dodie. <laughs> Uncle Charlie, oh, trees. yeah. And at Christmas time, we'd light up all, all the trees. But again, to get back to you, it's her 75th birthday. In 1960, Don Grady graced a screen with his portrayal of the character, Robbie Douglas, a role he brought to life at the age of 16. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of his passing on June 27, 2012, due to cancer at the age of 68 in Thousand Oaks, California. Home in the time for the main event. One main event. Anyway, he knows about it, and he said to go ahead without him, because he knows what it's going to mean to you. 
What are you? T- in 1963, Meredith McRae graced a screen with her portrayal of the character Sally Ann Morrison, a role she brought to life at the age of 19. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of her passing on July 14, 2000, due to complications from brain cancer at the age of 56 in Manhattan Beach, California. It has so many pigeonholes in it that all the sparrows come to nest in it during the winter. I told my girlfriend that I was pregnant, and it was a wonderful scene for me in which I, I cried and broke down because my husband is missing and I don't know where he is. And uh, when I saw it in, in the rough cut, I said... Beverly Garland graced a screen as the character Barbara Harper Douglas, casting her vibrant presence at the age of 43 during the 1969 filming. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on December 5th, 2008, she left us due to following a long illness at the age of 82 in Hollywood Hills, Los Angeles, California. Yeah, but she wasn't. Well, we were lucky this time. Honey, I've never punished you before because I didn't feel it was my place, but... ...and then we uh, interned them there. Uh, Are you serious? Well, I am serious, but they're little. I mean, that's when you're cremated. Let's say you're cremated in, in Oshkosh and you want to be buried in Forest. In 1969, Don Lynn graced a screen with her portrayal of the character, Dodie Harper Douglas, a role she brought to life at the age of six. Fast forward to the present, and as a vibrant 60-year-old, she's relishing life to the fullest, basking in the beauty of Los Angeles, California. Yes, Annick. <laughs> you go on in the kitchen, have Uncle Charlie fix your sandwich. We're in called Choya Tree. And I didn't find out until I was 12 years old that I'd played. A- Peter Brooks graced a screen as the character Hank Ferguson, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 31 during the 1961 filming. And now, at a youthful 93 years old, he now resides in Magog, Quebec, Canada, where he's crafting a vibrant and healthful life infused with numerous passions. Ready? Start. Who needs school? Who needs school? Eventually, I began to see, well, we don't need that. We don't need that. And as you saw just now on the screen, in this, we're down to... uh, Share your favorite characters from the TV series My Three Sons with me. Drop your thoughts in the comments below this video, and don't forget to show your love by hitting the like button, subscribing to our channel, and ringing the notification bell to catch all my upcoming videos. I'm eagerly looking forward to sharing more wonderful memories with you. Thank you, and see you all soon.